Okay, so I managed to build my 52 pi rack tower yesterday, the ZP-0088, and uh, I used it yesterday in the evening, and, and it is great, and I will definitely be using this as my main case for my Pi. Uh, and the reason for that is that a lot of the time uh, with other cases, because I use, uh, I, well, I use SSD and I use SD card, um, but having an SSD out, uh, it meant that I had cables trailing and you know it wasn't a very neat setup. Now with this, uh, you can see if you look into it, I've got my uh, SSD down the bottom here. It's a Sunbow SSD. I'll put a link to everything in the description. Uh, this is a 750 gig hard drive that I bought from eBay, very cheap. Uh, you can see it's not connected up because the Pi can really only power one SSD or physical hard drive uh, at once. But you can have the SSD and an SD card at the same time, so you can uh, use the operating system from the SSD and you can write things to an SD card or you can use the SD card and you can, uh, like I did, I imaged this version of Twister OS 1.5 that I'm using as my main operating system at the moment because I love it, it looks great and it's got all the right apps in it for me. So uh, yeah, really, really nice. Everything's super solid. You can hear that nothing's, nothing's moving around. Uh, these bits are metal. Uh, this is like a clear Perspex handle and you can pick it up like that uh, and that's just really convenient. The fan lights up as it will in a moment and I'll show, at the end I'll show a load of pictures of, of various different bits that came and various different stages of building it. I'm not really interested in showing me building it because uh, I think it's a bit of a boring video but um, I've, I'll show little stages that I think are a bit more interesting. So connectivity wise, now it looks like you can see in here it says Raspberry Pi and it says Raspberry Pi here. It looks like I could have put my Raspberry Pi closer here uh, for the in and out ports. So if you have a look, if I get this angle, so now we can see uh, we've got the USB-C and we've got the HDMI cables and the audio cable. Now initially I thought it was going to be uh, a bit hard to get the cables in there. Turns out my HDMI cables and USB-C cables going fine and it's really easy to, to plug in and unplug but if you wanted to it does look like you could move the Pi off center and get it right down to the edge here you can see it also supports a Jetson Nano it talks about two and a half inch hard drive and SSD and that's exactly what I've done so I've just mounted mine in the middle uh, and it's just four screws so uh, and all the screws come with it so you can see there's four screws underneath here uh, which attach to the hard drive and it's super solid. There's, there's no movement there uh, because it's fixed to it. But obviously the fan blows through this. Now, I figured that my physical hard drive was probably going to get hotter than an SSD. Uh, so I put it a bit further up on the fan. I don't know if that makes a lot of difference. Uh, the, this is near center. Now, you might find that it's better on the shelf up. I don't know. Uh, and obviously I'd have to take it apart to change between that. It's not hard to take apart, uh, it's just you would undo this screw and these four and then you can just pull off one of the sides and then just pop each sort of Perspex shelf out. But I absolutely love it. Uh, it's it's pretty quiet in use. Uh, it definitely keeps the Pi cool. I've been overclocked to 2147 and, uh, and everything is working fine. So let's show you what's left. So we've still got some screws. Now this really would be, uh, if you were using it as a cluster case, for four Pi 4s. Uh, you could put a Pi 4 on each shelf and then link them all together. That's not really my cup of tea, but, uh, but if you were doing that, it's great that you've got everything included in it. I've still got, well, three of these left over. I've still got one connected to my monitor I did the other day. Uh, these SD card adapters, there is now a link. I've put my links uh, in the description. Uh, to, because you can buy a two pack of these for I think $8.99 which I think is pretty reasonable really uh, and they are going to be great for builds so uh, I, but I covered that in the previous video I won't go through that again I've got a screwdriver uh, I'm ending up with lots of screwdrivers with all these cases and things uh, so let's plug it in and get it up and running oh I also just to let you know I, I loot this USB cable just out and in of the case because it's the length that it is now you could probably get a shorter SATA cable. It's very easy for me to unplug this if I'm not using the SSD drive or any physical drive, uh, or I can 
move this up to the physical drive. So if I want to use my RetroPie build, which is a, I think it's a 250 gig build on this 750 gig hard drive, so I've got loads of space, I can just unplug this and plug it in. But because it's so solid, you just don't, it, everything, everything's so nice to plug into because things don't move. Uh, because it has a bit of weight to it and and it just feels really solid. So I, do, I absolutely love it. I, I was playing with it yesterday and uh, it just felt like, it even felt more like a proper computer. I know that's weird, but just having all the connections, having uh, nothing else sort of trailing from it, uh, just one neat unit. Yes, it's a lot larger, but it will definitely work for me as my, my main OS when I'm flashing cards and things like that. I used to go upstairs and use my Windows computer. Well, now I've got 120 gig SSD, uh, but also I could use the, phys the extra space on the physical drive uh, to maybe store some images and write them with Be Belena Etcher or Raspberry Pi Imager. So yeah, I'm, I'm super, super impressed with it. It looks better at night, as you would expect, and it looks better with all the lights lit up. So let's plug it in. Okay, so you can see it plugged in and lit up. Uh, I'm using Twister OS 1.5 at the moment and I've been playing videos on it uh, just to see if I can warm it up a bit and I'll switch over to screen capture in a minute. Uh, I've got my wired Xbox 360 controller plugged into it. I could definitely do my cables neater. I've just, uh, I'd, I'm just doing this uh, for the video. Uh, but basically this is my HDMI cable, my USB-C cable. I've got my RetroPie USB stick plugged in the back so all my ports are taken up. I really like the fact that you can look through the fan and see the red and the green light. Sometimes it's reflected off the perspex, which the angle I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at, but you can see it at different angles. You can see it directly through the fan. And uh, in some cases, you can't see the, the drive light. So you can't see if it's accessing the drive. So when you turn it off, you have to wait a bit longer. Uh, so I really like the fact that you can see that light through it. You don't have to have these, uh, these bright lights. Uh, it's a separate cable that plugs in uh, on the side. So it plugs into the GPIO pins and uh, I've got a picture of, of how it plugs in and which pins to plug it into. Uh, you might be able to do it slightly different and use it at a slightly lower voltage, I'm not sure, um, but I'm using the recommended pins that they said in the manual. I did also mention in one of my comments are about the adapter that it doesn't mention it in the instruction book. Well, it clearly does. This shows all the accessories that come with it and also basically how to build it. So the Pi is actually on these standoffs, these little sort of copper colored standoffs. So you, you put the standoffs, uh, you screw them from underneath uh, so they're on the top of the perspex and then you pop the Pi on top of that and then you put these bolts on the top to hold it in place. But you can clearly see the SD card adapter, the excellent SD card adapter is there in the manual. And this is because, so Clara Chen, uh, who is from 52Pi, actually commented and said that um, someone else who bought this case before had bought a previous batch. So this is the newer batch, uh, which has got those four SD card adapters. So you don't need them. And that was the whole reason that I'd done my, my long uh, ribbon cable for SD card adapters. You don't need any of that with these adapters. So let's switch over to screen capture and uh, let's have a look and see how much it's heated up because it's been playing YouTube videos for a bit while I edited the first part of the video. So let's switch. Okay, so I've switched over to screen capture now. Uh, let's minimize that and go to uh, NeoFetch. And see. Uh, so it shows, it's weird, the Pi shows up as 2.294. I'm actually overclocked to 2147 with an over voltage of eight and I've got the GPU set at 750. Um, so I'm overclocking it reasonably hard. Uh, 26 minutes it's been running YouTube videos while I've been editing the first part of the video. Uh, and this is my eight gig Pi as you can see. So let's have a look at the temperature in Commander Pi. So 40, 42 degrees. Uh, I think I got it up to 50 yesterday. Uh, I was running loads of things and uh, and doing all sorts. But, uh, oh, you can see that it's dropped down to a gigahertz even though it's playing a video. Oh, it's gone up. You saw it went up to 2.1 just as it switched. Oh, I've got two tabs open now. Yeah, so you can see the video's running. But uh, let's close that down. So thanks very much to 52Pi for giving me this case to test. 
Uh, I also have an armor case to test, which is almost the other end of the scale because it's super stealthy, very small, uh, but it has two fans on it. So I'll do that in another video. Um, but uh, I definitely really like this. Uh, it's, it will be the case that I use, I'm sure, for a long time. I'd be surprised if something beats this as, as what I want to use as my main system where with things like RetroPie and flashing images and things like that, it is, it is great. I'll show some more images uh, of just uh, sort of close-ups and bits of setup and stuff like that. But uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.